That man looks very nice. He has even become my regular customer. But why did he touch my face like that? That's very strange. No man goes about touching a lady's face, unless he is trying to be comfortable around her. Could it be what I'm thinking? No, Grace, stop filling your head with such thoughts because it's not possible. That a man in such class, will come down to my level to feel comfortable, an ordinary food seller like me who has no class, I know there must be a thousand and one ladies out there dying to be with him, I don't even stand a chance. There is this joy I feel these days each time I visit that restaurant, and after been served well by that grace. She cooks so well and I can't seem to stop thinking about her these days. I have sent your prescriptions to the pharmacy, you can go now to collect them. Okay my doctor, thanks. <sighs> Dr. Pat, you are here? I can see you are very hungry just like me. I'm so tired and exhausted, can we go somewhere and eat? I need some glucose in my body before I can continue seeing these patients. Wait a minute, aren't you going home now? How come you are still seeing patients? Because I am done with mine, what happened? I'm covering for Dr. Leah, that's why I can't go home yet, I have to find a place to eat something, do you know anywhere we can go and have a good meal? Yes of course, I will take you to a nearby restaurant, I know you will like their food, it's not far from this hospital. I thought you said it's near the hospital? We've been driving for more than 5 minutes now. Just relax, 5 minutes is not far, we will soon be there, and I know after eating their food today, you will become a regular customer there. No way, it's not even possible, because my wife cooks better than anyone else. I'm only going there today because of the situation I find myself in at the moment which is because I'm covering up for Dr. Leah, if not, by now, I would have been in my house enjoying my wife's delicious cooking. Well, you are lucky you have a wife who enjoys cooking for you and the entire family. I don't have such things at home, and that's why I patronize this particular lady all the time, because she cooks very well. Sometimes I wish my wife can cook like her, so I wouldn't have to eat out all the time. Wait a minute, you mean you now eat out on a regular basis? That's the situation I found myself in. Morning, afternoon and night. If not, I will go to bed hungry. You don't mean it, are you telling me there are some days you go to sleep without eating food? That's the situation I find myself my brother. My wife doesn't like cooking, she prefers her nails and skin to cooking. She doesn't like skin pain at all. She normally tell me her kitchen closes by 8.30 p.m. and once it's 8.30, you can never step your feet into the kitchen again even if you are dying of hunger. This is really bad, but you have to find a way. You can't keep eating outside like this when you have a home. Why don't you cook yourself instead of waiting for her? You know how to cook, right? You won't understand. There is nothing I haven't done. Okay, just imagine. I will make huge meal during the weekends. Store them in the freezers so it can serve me and anyone else for the week, but my wife will end up finishing everything even before I have gotten the chance to use it. I will return to the house exhausted and hungry, thinking that I have something to lay my hands on when I enter the kitchen, but that's not the case. My brother, I have tried my best to bring solution to this problem, but the more I try, the worse it gets. You won't believe this. Believe what? If I don't clean the kitchen and wash out the pots and plates, the kitchen will remain dirty. Same goes with the toilet and other parts of the house. I'm the only one who cares about the cleanliness of the house. She never borders to tidy our bedroom or closet. It's unbearable for me. If that's the case, why did you marry her since you know she was like that? My brother, I didn't know she was like this because actually, before we got married and started living together, she wasn't like this. She seemed homely to me. I noticed this whole thing started since I got her a new phone that uses internet, she changed. Oh, my customer is here, and he came with someone today. Let me go and find out what they want to eat. Good day sir. Dave, how many times do I have to tell you to stop calling me sir? Okay, Dave, what should I get for you? You know my favorite, get it for me. Okay. Ask my friend what he wants. What would you like to eat, sir? Rice with chicken sauce. Okay. She's such a lovely lady. And she cooks good food as well.
Why are you looking at me like that? Any problems? Dave, what's going on? I noticed how you've been looking at that lady since she came out, I hope. You hope what? Don't forget you are married. So because I am married, I can't admire God's creation again. That's not what I'm saying, I'm only saying you should watch it before it turns to something else. Something like what exactly? Something like infidelity, this is how it starts. Oh come off it my friend, you escalate things a lot. This is just a harmless admiration, that's all. Let's enjoy our food, because I have to drop you off in the hospital. Hum, very delicious as always. How do you see her food? Do you like it? Hum, I think she really can cook good food. I give it to her, it tastes so delicious. I knew it, I knew you would enjoy her cooking. Thanks for the meal. Why do you always do that? It's a bit uncomfortable for me. What did I just see him do? He's touching her on the face. He's been acting sis since we came this place. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Staying all day on the phone and using the internet can be very exhausting. Who knows if that useless girl, Peace, has made the food I asked her to make. Let me go and find out. If she hasn't made anything yet for me to eat, she will be in big trouble. I won't tolerate her bad behavior. Hum, what's smelling like this? It's as if something is burning. It's coming from the kitchen. Let me quickly go and check. Who knows what she's doing? Peace, peace, peace. peace. So you, so are, you busy are busy sleeping, sleeping and, and the food you're cooking is burning. burning. What type of thing is what this? Type of thing is peace, this? wake up, peace. Oh my goodness. I slept off. Will you get up from there and go attend to that food before I bounce on you? I'm so sorry, Mayor. It was a mistake. So you burnt my food? What will I eat? I'm very hungry right now. You must make me another food to eat. What is smelling here? Food is burning. This two people I have in this house is a bunch of nonsense. One day, they will bring down this house with fire. Welcome, babe. How was work today? What is burning? It's the food we were cooking for everyone to eat. Now there's nothing to eat. Okay, that's good. I will be in the bedroom. You are not upset? Why should I be upset? No problem about it. This is strange. He's not even upset about the burnt food. I'm so hungry. I can't wait for this girl to make another food. I will order food now. Thank God I already ate food in that lady's shop, on my way home. If not, I would have been in a mess by now. Someone would have given me burnt charcoal to eat as dinner. I have to sleep now. I have work tomorrow. So, he's here snoring. I have to wake him up. Babes, babes, wake up. I need you. Babes. Will you wake up, please? Oh no, Lucy, why do you like to disturb my peace? What is it again this night? Can't I have peace in my own house? I need you. Need me for what? Didn't I give it to you yesterday? When has it become food that you now eat it every day? Please, I had a long day today, and my tomorrow is going to be hectic as well. I need to catch my sleep so I can be able to function properly at work. Hope you heard me. Don't let me lose my temper this minute. Come take it by force. Babes wake up now. Leave me alone woman, or you won't like what you will see. Orch. You slap me. What is wrong with you Dave? Okay, go back to sleep. I won't force you. Better. You mean your husband refuses to sleep with you sometimes? Yes, he's either complaining of tiredness, or he says he's hungry and I didn't give him food to eat. Men, what does he mean by that? If you didn't give him food, 
He can always go into the kitchen and make something for himself to eat. Doesn't he have hands and legs? Why is he depending on you for food? Gone are the days women are subjected to cooking for a man while they sit down in the lounge reading newspapers. So how do you cope when he does that to you? What can I do? Not like I can force him. I can arrange a guy for you if you want. It's up to you. It's possible he is getting pleasure from another woman, and you are here getting yourself worked up for nothing. You know you are still very beautiful, and a lot of men will want to be with you. What? You are not serious, are you? Of course I'm serious. You can think about it. But I'm still married. It doesn't matter. Not like I'm asking you to divorce him. Since he is not giving it to you, you should get it from somewhere else. That's true. I don't understand what the two of you are even saying here. Instead of Lucy to think of how she will make her husband happy so he can be giving her whatever she's demanding, you are here advising her on finding an alternative. The problem is that Lucy doesn't want to be a proper wife in her home. She doesn't like cooking, cleaning, and washing. And I'm sure her husband is not finding such behavior funny. And when a man is not happy in his home, how do you expect him to behave, Lizzie? I don't support this. A married woman has made a vow to keep herself for her husband alone till death do them part. That is what fidelity is all about. Matthew 19:3 to 9 talks about sexual fidelity in marriage. That is the calling of Christians. Those who are now married are summoned by Christ to remain faithful to their partners until death should part them. The glue that holds Christian spouses together is not romantic love, nor is it law. Don't even forget that adultery is proscribed by the seventh commandment. We are living through a sexual revolution in which adultery has become irrelevant. People are looking for a new definition of Christian marriage that will allow for premarital sex, divorce, serial monogamy, and victimless extramarital affairs. But this is wrong, Lucy. Don't say I didn't warn you. Don't patronize adultery. It will ruin your life and lead your soul to hell fire. You told me at the party that your husband asked you not to step foot outside unless you clean the house, but you disobeyed him. Why won't you get involved in things around the house? After all, it is your home. Well, I have said my own. It's up to you to decide for yourself, Lizzie. I'm going now. I will see the two of you later. Bye. She's always preaching. Don't mind her. Just think about what I told you. I'm not the cooking, cleaning, and washing type. Maggie said if I start doing these things at home, he will love me even more. But why must it be that way? Why won't he love me this way? I won't. I can't. Doing those things will make me shrink very quickly, and I will get old too. Lizzie's advice is more like what I can do. It's more easier. Just find a handsome man who will be giving me what I want each time my husband say he is tired. When am I seeing you again, Lucy? I had a great time with you. Samuel, thanks for your services. I enjoyed myself too. I will contact you whenever I want us to see. But don't ever try calling me. Don't try to reach me. I will only be the one reaching you. Okay, no problem. Where are you coming from? And don't you dare tell me it's work. Because I called your workplace, and they said you were off work today, so start talking. What, babes? You are home. I thought you would be in the hospital today. No, I didn't go to the hospital today because my hospital is on three days strike. Really? Yes, yes. I went to the market to buy some food items for the house. Is that so? Can I see those items, please? Um, I was rushing home and then I forgot it in the bus. That's a lie. You better speak the truth, Lucy. What type of wife are you? The entire house is very dirty, and there is no cooked food for anyone to eat. And there's a woman who calls herself my wife living in this house, but she could never get involved in anything at home. I even agreed for you to bring a help, but you never delegate duties to her or even supervise what she's doing to know if she has done them exactly the way it should be. All you know is to jump from one friend's house to another, or stay on the internet to chat from morning till night. Lucy, I don't know how much longer I'm going to endure this. You better change. He nearly caught me with my lies. How come? He was supposed to be at work. When I left, he was already not at home. So when then did he return? Are you in the mood? Let's get into action. 
At least I didn't work today, and I have time for it now. I'm not in the mood. Just leave me alone to sleep. Okay, I guess I will sleep too. I'm going to wait for her to wake up. Today, the two of us will make breakfast together. Maybe this will be the best way to teach her how to be involved in the house. I'm tired of yelling. Babe, you are awake. I've been waiting for you. Waiting for me for what? To make breakfast together. Won't that be very wonderful? I'm going to see a friend. Don't worry about me. Just make for yourself alone. It's pointless. Let me dress up and go eat food in Grace's restaurant. This place feels more like home these days. Strange. I hope you are enjoying the food. Grace, you cook so well. Who taught you? It's my mother. Come and sit with me. I have missed you. I missed you too. You are so beautiful and sweet. Are you sure? If I leave my husband, are you going to marry me? Of course, I'm going to marry you if you leave him. In fact, I will marry you immediately. No wasting time. I love you. No need of staying with Dave anymore. He wants to turn me into what I don't want to be. Samuel is everything I need. He knows how to do it to me the way I want. And he even said he will marry me if I leave my husband. He values me more than Dave. Where are you coming from, Lucy? I want out. What does that mean? I want a divorce. What? Lucy? Sometimes I wish my wife can cook like you. Dave, I noticed you are always coming here to eat. And I also noticed you are married. I can teach her how to cook if you want. It's pointless. Because she already left me for another man. Really? That's too bad. Maybe I'm not man enough. Where is that Lucy of a lady? Oh, there she is. Now, remove that thing on you very quickly. I want you to make me happy. And don't waste my time. You are such a useless woman. You can't cook food that we both will eat. Of what use are you then in this house? I spend my entire money ordering food cooked by another woman. But I have you in this house. What type of a woman are you? No wonder your husband threw you away from his house. Since you can't be a proper woman. Since there is nothing you are capable of doing. Except getting into action in bed. Then, I'm going to do you action until you can't do again. Now, get on that bed immediately. Oh my goodness, I'm finished. God please help me, that man is going to finish me in bed. No no, I can't take this from this man again, I better run away from here. Lucy, is this you? What are you doing here dressed like this? Maggie, I was running away from one man like that. Which man? What about your husband Dave? I left him. I took Lizzie's advice. Is that so? Now see where it has landed you. Better go back to your husband. He loves you but you have refused to bend down and do the things that a proper woman should do in her home. Don't think that it's easier anywhere. The grass is always greener on the neighbor's house. You have to water your marriage so it can be the way you want it to be. I made a lot of mistakes. Will my husband ever forgive me for leaving him? Go and ask him for forgiveness. And promise never to do that again. You equally have to change your bad character and be a proper wife to your husband. I have learned my lessons now. I'm so scared. I don't know how he will react if he sees me. I have to summon courage to go ask him for forgiveness. What is she doing here? Dave, my husband. Who's your husband? Please forgive me. I have come to ask you for forgiveness. I was stupid, foolish and anything you want to call me. But now I have realized my mistakes, and I'm ready to be a proper wife to you. I have equally given my life to Christ. I'm a changed person now. I promise never ever to leave you again or give you headache in this marriage. Welcome back home, babes. I forgive you. Thank you, my husband, for forgiving me. I brought you someone. Who? She's going to teach you how to cook and every other thing you need to know about housework. 
I'm ready to learn how to be a proper wife to you. Good afternoon. Grace, welcome to my home. This is my wife, Lucy. Please teach her all that she needs to learn. I will pay anything as long as she will start to cook like you. Okay, sir. Honey, I'm home. Welcome back, darling. How was work today? It was fine. I'm so hungry. Did you cook anything? Yes, of course. I made your favorite dish. Sit down and let me serve you. Can I taste the food, please? Okay, you can taste it, naughty head. Hum, this is so, so good. I'm loving it already. Make sure you give me big size.